Now, with regard to the next slide, and we have some data, data from Tata Medical Center with regard to CLAPSI rates in interventional radiology. So, uh, I was very fortunate uh, because uh, Dr. Dayanand, who did the uh, last presentation, did send us a whole series of data, uh, about 500 cases that he had performed uh, with the help of interventional radiology, and many of them were with regard to central lines. Now, because of the paucity of time, we did not have enough time actually to analyze the data for all those years. But what we did, we analyzed the data for 2016, and particularly with reference to the central line associated infection data. Now, these were the different types of central lines which were inserted in patients using interventional radiology. And these were Hickman lines, uh, uh, chemoports, uh, internal jugular venous lines, femoral lines, pick lines, and you have the total. And you can see during this time period, 29 Nickman lines were inserted, 17 each of chemoport and IJVs, uh, uh, femoral lines, pick lines, and uh, the blood infection rates. And we were looking at 30-day blood infection.